Hi guys, thanks for clicking on my video. It's me, Lolita Path Over Length. I thought I would come on here and make a, not an anti-Friday video, but just why I decided not to purchase anything this Black Friday. Um, of course, I did last year Black Friday and I made a video which is on here. Um, so it's several videos down because it's from last year, but anyway, and yes, I have a protective style. Um, for those of you who do not know, I am a natural hairstylist, but one of my co-workers in the salon, she did my braids for me. And these are knotless. And I'm so happy with my little braids. Um, also, for you guys that may not know, I re-big chopped my hair. I, I originally, I cut it in July. But then I also went around, went, and I have another friend who's a natural hairstylist. I went to her in September and she recut it. So um, I really count September as my re big chop. So I am going to insert some pictures of how short my hair was in September. And then I will also, that's my cat. Look at whiskers. <laughs> I will insert a video of when I uh, blow dried my hair out for her to do these braids for me, how long my hair was, and I was amazed. Guys, my hair has grown. I'm sorry, my tongue is blue. I had a candy cane, <laughs> a cotton candy candy cane. Anyway, my hair has grown tremendously. I'm so happy with my hair growth. Um, Anyway, so I did not purchase any Black Friday products, guys, simply because I don't need any. I got so much shit. I got so much stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what I have. Part, let me start out with what I wanted to get for Black Friday because, of course, I had a Black Friday list, okay? So I was prepared. So I had planned on ordering Trey Lux, Floral and Curl, Oyens, Ecoslay, Allocate Naturals, um, because I haven't used the new twisting cream she came out with about a year or so ago. Um, I was gonna order Unicurl, Hair Affinity. I was gonna get their hair vitamins mainly. Um, now that I look at my list, I wish I would have purchased the vitamins at least. Um, some main choice products. I was gonna order some Yale. Um, I have some staples by Miel that I love that I was just going to stock up on. And then I was also going to order bounce curls. But when it came down to it, guys, I was looking at all the stuff that I have, all the stuff that I haven't used, all the stuff that I did at least try and I liked, but I haven't used even half of it. Um, and I just decided against it. I was like, you know, I'm going to keep my coins. <laughs> And I was just gonna try my best to just use what I have. So maybe next year, Black Friday, I will be ready to order some, some more stuff. But for right now, um, I'm kind of sitting at my little desk where I tend to do my hair. So I'm gonna show you what I have right here, right off hand. So of course I have my knot sauce and this big container just I can't see through it, but just feeling it, guys, it's like this much left in here, okay? So I have knot sauce. And then let me see if I can pull my tray over without knocking everything down. So this is my little tray that I kind of keep next to me. And it's full of stuff that I um, want to use or, you know, stuff that I want to use. So I have my Wee Dad. Um, I have my Shea Moisture Re Reconstructive Finishing Elixir. I purchased this. Um, this is by Hair Affinity. They came out with a rice water leave-in. I've used it maybe twice. <laughs> um, I have Lux Locks. This is by, um, who are these people? Original Moxie. I have this. Then I have my Jessie Curls, my Miss Jessie's, I'm sorry, Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls, Honey Curls, 
I have Mia Curl Cream. I haven't used that yet. I have Shea Moisture Lush Leave-In. I haven't used this yet. Um, Aphigy, this is just a staple. But I have that. I have my Melanin Oil. I have my Melanin Twisting Cream. I have Shea Moisture's uh, Strengthening and strengthening Restore, restore Leave-In. I have my Aunt Jackie's Quench and I have Melanin's leave-in conditioner. And this is just what I have right here, okay? So what we are going to do, we are going to take a field trip into my bathroom. And I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that I have, okay? So stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is my shelf that is in my bathroom. Don't look at my closet, it's a mess. But this is my shelf. Uh, let's start from bottom to top. Oh my God. So I have Wet Line. I have Camille Rose Curl Maker. I have all of these um, clay washes that I purchased from Chocolate Kinks and Curls. Oh my God, I just, I literally have so much stuff. That's gel. Um, that's gel. This is a foam and pomade by Paul Mitchell. I really love that stuff. This is um, Design Essentials, their twisting cream. Um, Eco, not, yeah. Eco Style of the Clear. The, um, I think this is the cannabis. Yeah, and then I have Curl Activator. I have this little sample thing of gel. They gave that to me. Um, some more Eco Styler. I have some Tresemme shampoo and conditioner that I have never used. Then this shelf. Yeah, I'm out of breath already. <laughs> I have all of these are deep conditioners, Hair Affinity. <clears throat> um, I have Briogeo, and, oh, and then I have that Briogeo, I have Main Choice, I have Carol's Daughter, I have Zoto Curls, some Shea Moisture Deep Conditioners, um, a Mazzani Deep Conditioner, Pinky Tresses, Aphigy, and then this is a, a deep conditioner for after color. And then I have all these butters. I have oils. Um, I have this by main choice. I have yet to use it. It's the two gels in a jar. I have yet to use it. I have the Donna K. I got that from the hair show. I have uh, the hair and body butter. Oh, I just got so much stuff. I have the Effigy Two Minute Reconstructor. I love that stuff. Then we're gonna come up here, and I have this is the those hair color waxes. I have four of those. <laughs> And then I have Diva Curl Beautiful Mess. It's a pomade. I haven't used that. I have this Curl Jelly by Curls that I purchased from Target a while back. Haven't used it. I have Camille Rose Coconut Setter. I have Diva Curl Wave Maker. Haven't used it. I have Diva Curl One Condition Delight. Um, what else is back here? <laughs> uh, pink, the Prickly Pear Paradise Styling Custard by Main Choice. I have the Pink Lemonade Curl Boosting Sherbet by Main Choice. I have the Pow um, Gel by Main Choice. Over here, I have Curl Defining Jelly by Curls. 
Curl Enhancing Smoothie, the Styling Cream by Pattern, Honey, um, Honey's Handmade Curl Defining Cream, Baskin Bloom Aloe Curl Pudding, Baskin Bloom Castor Twisting Cream, Baskin Bloom Leave-In Conditioner. In the back, I have this TGIN um, Miracle Repair Leave-In. I have the, what's that back there? <laughs> Something else about the Miracle Repair. I can't even really see what that say. What's that? Curl something. What's that say? Ooh, I'm trying not to drop stuff, but dropping it anyway. Curl Food Daily Moisturizer. And then I have Padana Curl Defying Custard. I have Padana Twisting Buttercream. I have Padana Leave In Conditioner. Uh, what else is back there? I have this styling cream. I forget the name of these people. Natty Naturals. That's who that is by. And then up here, <laughs> I have the, uh, sorry guys, I have the JBCO Water. I have Pattern Leave-In, uh, Curling Style. I have Shea Moisture Silicone Leave-In. Pow leave-in, Kinky Curly Night Today, Hair Milk by Kinky Tresses, right? Yes. Then I have Curls, So So Leave-in, Fresh Curl. I have the Blueberry Milk, the Blueberry and Coconut Hair Milk. I have Donna K Naturals Daily Moisturizer. I have Atwell Beauty, um, the leave-in. And then I have like these little mini, mini, miniature bottles by Pureology. These are um, deep conditioners, but they're sample sizes. I have Aunt Jackie's Power Wash. I have the pre pool coconut water. I have Long and Lux by As I Am. I have Soylicious Curl Enhancing Conditioner by Camille Rose. I haven't used that yet. I have two bottles of VO5 Island Coconut. I have Shea Moisture Restorative Conditioner. I have a little small bottle of Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Conditioner. Um, I have Bread Hair Mask. I haven't used that yet. Oh, and here is Camille Rose. It's a shampoo bar. I have that. I think that is all that is on my shelf. Look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. So, and then all that stuff that I just dropped. <laughs> but we're gonna move on over here to my box that I throw stuff in that I no longer want. Okay, so this is my little messy box. And I tend to throw stuff in here that I don't want, but I do have two daughters and I let them just come and get stuff at will. And this is like a box that stuff that I don't want. They're not necessarily bad products, but they're just products that my hair did not like. And as you guys can see, sorry, <laughs> this is full of stuff. Look at this. Let's just have, oh, that's empty. Oh, good, I can throw that away. I feel like this, oh, it did leak out. You see the top open? Yeah, and then I have that. There's just so much stuff in here, guys. This I'm taking out. I'm, I need to take that to work. This bottle is full. This thing is just full of stuff, guys. This is, and again, this is stuff that my hair did not like. So this isn't bad stuff. It's just stuff that my hair did not like. So I just throw it in here and it is stuff that I don't mind my daughter's using. Um, and yeah, 
and a lot of this stuff is full. It's kind of like if I use it one time and if my hair does not like instantly respond to it, I just don't use it anymore. I know sometimes it's like, oh, you got to give products more than one try, but that's just not true in my experience. I have used so much stuff that I can tell when my hair likes stuff just from one use. So I refuse to subject my hair to products that it just does not like, you know? So, um, like I say, if it's not a bad product, I just throw it in here for my daughters to use, uh, their friends, anything like that. Because if it was a bad product, I honestly would just throw it away. Yeah, so this is my infinite, infamous box of hair stuff. <laughs> yeah, so this is why I did not buy any stuff for Black Friday. I'm just, at this point, I feel like I'm just, you know, like throwing away money. And I'm not rich by any means. So, um, that's why I skipped this year. Uh, what else is in here? As you guys see, I mean, it's just a lot of stuff in here. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. Um, some sample packs of stuff. Yeah, so. This is why... I skipped Black Friday. So, as you guys can see, your girl has a lot of hair products. So, I just could not bring myself to add to my stash of products that I have for it to just be sitting there and collecting dust. And before I can even get to it, it'll be next Friday again. And I'll be adding more stuff to my list. So, that is why I skipped Black Friday this year. It's not an anti-Black Friday. It's just uh, anti-spending my money. <laughs> so, uh, let me know what you guys ordered, though. Um, I have been watching a few videos on what people order. And then, of course, I'm like real tempted to buy stuff um as a matter of uh as a matter of fact unicurl has their products on sale for nine dollars each and i was so close to purchasing i went and put the stuff in the cart looked at the total the total was 54 dollars and i'm like girl you don't need none of this stuff <laughs> so i didn't check out i just came out of it or whatever but I mean, the product junkie in me wants to order something so bad, but I literally just think about what I have and that is preventing me from ordering more stuff. So that is my anti-Black Friday for 2020. Again, let me know what you guys order. I'm very interested and thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. The next video, um... I may talk about what I'm doing to my hair. It is obviously growing, okay? And I have been pretty much using the same regimen as far as pre-pouring, using my Ayurvedic herbs. I told you guys that I um, I started using my Ayurvedic hair care and it's working, okay? I still have not made my video on uh, my, my, um, my, my mix that I make out of my herbs. I am going to make that video, I promise, but I haven't made it yet. So my braids, I plan on keeping my braids in my hair until like Christmas. Um, they are not even a week old, y'all. But that for me, I don't keep stuff in my hair that long. Look, you can see like this is where my hair is. And not too long ago, like my hair was like this long. <laughs> So I'm so amazed at that growth, guys. Oh my God. So I definitely got to share what I've been doing to my hair with you all. So, but anyway, I'm leaving these in until Christmas. And then I plan on giving my hair a break again. Like, look where my hair is. Like my hair is literally this long in a matter of two months. That is just amazing to me. Wow. But, um... After I take these out, I'm going to give my hair a break for about a month. 
Um, I'm gonna go back to my friend and let her um, trim it. And then I'm kind of torn between getting some crochet braids and a sew-in. There's a young lady that works in the salon, y'all. Her sew-ins, the bone. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture. This picture is the young lady that braided my hair. Her name is Danielle. But her hair is a sew-in that our other coworker, Shanae, did. Okay, so I'm gonna insert that picture. Shanae the bone was sew-in. So I'm debating on whether or not I wanna get crochet or I wanna get, um, a sew-in as my next little protective style um but i will let you guys know so stay tuned if you're not following me on my instagram which is health over length go ahead and do so because i certainly post over there more than i make my little youtube videos um and so i do i post um stuff that i'm using i post my hair and I just, I post there more, guys. So if you're interested in my little hair care regimen and stuff like that, please go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Health Over Length, okay? Uh, the colors I have in my hair, in case anyone is interested, I have 613, I have 27, I have 30. Where you at? I think that's 30. And then I have four. So I have four different colors. Now, number four, 27, 30, and 613 is what I have in my hair. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. And, of course, I see you over on my Instagram page, right? Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.